Welcome back YouTube. So today's video is gonna be telling y'all how I got to the point when I could buy my first AR my nigga like bro I've been talking about AR for the longest I've been wanting the AR for the longest since I was since I first turned 18 you know so I'm 22 well I'm about to be 22 in like two days two three days now but since I was 18, I've been wanting an um, AR. I had went to the pawn shop, not the pawn shop, but I went to uh, Academy. I had tried to get an AR <coughs> when, I was, when I turned 18, but I was denied because I actually filled out the wrong information and I wasn't able to get that bitch. But how I got my AR this time, um, how I got the money to get my AR for real, for real, I'm gonna tell y'all I got this shit. Now, I always tell y'all that uh, niggas be selling cars and shit, doing all of that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be telling y'all, like, how I be selling cars and uh, how you can do this shit too, for no reason, because I want y'all to be able to, you know, you know get, be able to get money, you know, be able to, you know, have the right mindset. And I just think, oh, uh, if I get this money, I'll go buy a pound of weed and I'm gonna flip that. You know, there's another way you can do that shit. Still get all the money you trying to get, but still, you know, not have to worry about the police getting on your ass because you selling, you got a pound of weed round and round or some shit, or you constantly, you know, you might get your shit took, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want y'all to learn from my mistakes with this selling car shit so y'all don't make the same mistakes I did selling cars. Or, you know, try to, you know, get money other ways. It's, it's a legal way to get this shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But, as y'all know, I had bought two cars. I had bought a Ford Explorer in 1998. And I had put a, uh, a light bar on that bitch. The bitch had big wheels, had a thing on top to put shit on there. It had something to pull, pull cars and all that shit. It was, it was a straight little car. I bought that bitch for $800. And I had bought a um, 2010 Ford Fusion for 730. You know what I'm saying? I still got the Ford Fusion. The only thing wrong with the Ford Fusion was the back windshield was out. Only thing wrong with it. At first, it needed a new battery, but I got a new battery for that bitch. So the bitch drives, runs perfectly fine. It's a good little car. I got two good cars. You know what I'm saying? And I had sold the Ford Explorer that I had got. You know that I had bought for eight. At your eight hundred dollars, I had sold that one for fourteen fourteen hundred, so that I made about I made an extra six seven hundred in profit, and with that seven hundred in profit, I had bought you know had bought me the AR. I spent about six fifty on that bitch, but I mean it was a good little investment. It's gonna protect you know what I got. You know what I'm saying? In the long run, when a nigga do, you know, when they got those bands up for real, for real, you gotta have some protection. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I had a little protection, but now I'm, you know, a nigga ready to go. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. And now I'm just waiting on to sell the other car to get the month, you know, get that 2500 to 3000 And with that, I'm going, you know, buy two more cars, flip them like I did last time, and keep the rest of the money, you know, just stack that up. But yeah, that's that's what I'm going through right now. That's how I bought my first AR. That's how I'm flipping cars right now. And that's how I got the money to finance all the things that I want right now. But yeah, C-Safe, Wolfpack on game. Yeah.